a guy named Key Mori, uh, Tokyo, in uh, Keio, Keio University in Tokyo, started raising tomato plants. All he did was filter the sunlight so that the light was not giving any ultraviolet or any x-rays, just pure light. He did not pressurize the air. He did not give it increased CO2, just simply filtered sunlight. His tomato plant grew 16 feet tall and produced 900 tomatoes on one plant. It kept growing and growing. They moved it to a shopping center, built scaffolding to hold up the branches. They said this thing might produce 10,000 tomatoes. Well, the last I heard, it actually produced 15,000 tomatoes and grew 40 feet tall, a, a tomato tree. Now his tomatoes, they were cherry tomatoes, but they came off baseball size. That was just filtered sunlight. Had he increased air pressure and more CO2, no telling what it would do. They've discovered under the leaf, under the under every leaf of a plant, well this is a fake one, but under the leaves, you'll see if you get a magnifying glass, little tiny holes called stomata. You kids will study that in uh, biology class. The stomata close up at night open in the daylight to let the air circulate in and out of the plant. That's how the plants breathe, through the stomata under the leaf. They've discovered the chirping sound that birds make at four in the morning opens the stomata. You ever wonder, why are the birds out there chirping at four in the morning? Go to bed. Oh no, they're doing their job. They open up the stomata under the leaf. One guy got curious about this, so he, started, he found out that the chirping of the birds can be mimicked with classical music. This guy in Iowa started playing classical music to his cornfield. His neighbors thought, you know, half a bubble off a plum, maybe, you know. Till his corn grew 15 feet tall. They said, what channel was that you're listening to? <laughs> I think the pre-flood world had greater air pressure, increased CO2, filtered sunlight, the music 